well, well. Michael, isn't this interesting to see Blizzard now talking about bringing Overwatch 2 back to a 6v6 competition? Oh, I wonder why. I wonder what the timing's about, Drew. I wonder if something else has sparked this interest from Blizzard. All right, I don't know. A little game we just streamed the other day called Marvel Rivals, the 6v6 <laughs> big heavy hitter, which is basically, I think, putting Overwatch 2 in its place. Let's get into it. This is Michael Kripe over at IGM. Blizzard Entertainment has laid out its plans to begin testing for the potential return of a 6v6 matchup in Overwatch 2. Eventually, the update on the controversy plaguing the Overwatch community comes from game director Aaron Keller, who posted a 3600 word director's take <laughs> blog post just on the subject. It's a lengthy statement on the history of 6v6, why it was removed with the launch of Overwatch 2, and how Blizzard plans to experiment with the mode once again. That's right, the team is interested in bringing back the 12 player option nearly two years after it was swapped out for the faster paced 5v5 mode. Quote, the community has just once or twice suggested a test, end quote, Keller says, quote, why not put various forms of 6v6 in the game in order to gauge the results? We agree, and based on your feedback, we're exploring how we can test different forms of 60, 6v6 in the game to gauge the results." End quote. Keller says that while the team remains focused on ironing out 5v5, it is also, quote, looking at running a series of events to try out different core team competition or composition formats in Overwatch 2. End quote. Even the smallest sign of 6v6 is enough to reignite interest in players who have begged for its return. But implementing these tests is not as simple as just flipping a switch. Michael, what's your thoughts? Oh, I mean, I think as we just kind of hinted at it tongue in cheek, I think this is definitely they're taking a look at Marvel Rivals, a game that you and I and Scott checked out yesterday and a game that yep. we talked about still is sort of as that year in development cycle. And now all of a sudden Overwatch, I think, smartly realized that's a 6v6, probably their biggest competition. Yep. And... As you hinted at the end of that article, it's not just a simple, all right, 66 activate, everybody go in and check it out. There's going to be a ton of technological changes. There's going to be a ton of balancing changes. So now Blizzard essentially gets a year to test everything, make sure it's all good. Probably six months, probably want to make beat Marvel Rivals to the punch. But yeah, this yeah. definitely, to me, feels like, especially after playing Marvel Rivals, as someone who enjoyed Overwatch, feeling that freshness of a 6v6 month, this feels like Blizzard basically saying, what's our competition doing? Oh, they're 6v6? maybe we should go back and see if that was actually the correct mode all along. No, absolutely. I think they see the writings on the wall, right? They either need to figure out Overwatch 2 in a hurry or Marvel Rivals, I think, is just going to sink the game, right? I think Marvel Rivals right now is on such a high that we keep talking about this game over and over again right now, especially that we're so heavily invested right now currently in the beta testing right now. It is mm. one of those just things like, dude, we're all... like The whole team is on this game. So when it comes to Overwatch 2... Dude, I've played Overwatch 2 for years at this point, and I've always had a good time. I personally prefer the 5v5. I don't find it as fast-paced. I find it easier to see what the heck is going on versus when you get into 6v6, it can be pretty chaotic. This changes a lot of things when you go to add that extra person back into the game. Level design now need, might need to get revamped a little bit, right? Your spaces now are a lot tighter because you have six feet, six people in there. There's a lot to take into account. He also continues on, quote, We'd run the test for a few weeks and gauge interest from the community. And quote, Keller explains when speaking on the benefit of the test. Quote, then we'd measure the impact it had on the other experiences in Overwatch 2, like 5v5, arcade, etc. We take the lessons from this playtest to see what we can learn about the mode within the current game ecosystem and for the future of Overwatch. We would reflect carefully on the learnings from the whatever test we we run and explore how to best give players what's being asked for. Whether that's a world of 5v5, 6v6, or even both, is for future us to figure out." End quote. This is one of the beautiful roles about video game development is that you can always iterate moving forward. However, mm -hmm. it's not that easy sometimes, Michael. Yeah, I mean, that last uh, quote you had from Keller there, to me, kind of just says, like, as long as this is popular, we're going to move to 6v6. For him saying, say, yeah. like, oh, we might do 5v5, we might do 6v6. Both would be wild if they somehow pulled that off. That would be a balancing nightmare. But, yeah, this feels like basically <laughs> Blizzard is saying, we're going to test 6v6. 
if it's popular, let's go back to 6v6. As you said, map design, that's something you have to keep in mind. Yep. Every single hero class was redesigned in Overwatch 2 for that 5v5, right? So does those all now get removed? Those are quality of life things that maybe people are going to be like, oh, right. I did have that extra healing as a support when I hadn't taken damage. Wait, now all of a sudden that's gone. I kind of missed that. So there's a lot of things that Blizzard has to handle perfectly right. Because if they just rush 6v6, that itself could doom the game, ironically enough. Absolutely. We want to hear from you all about Overwatch 2. Should they go back to 6v6 or keep it 5v5? ITGTV.com.